Where's my Where's Where's I don't know where you put it. Where's my mic? <laughs> It's up there, it's up there. I spy with Lomo 19A19s. <clears throat> Get serious. Okay. Hi, welcome to another episode of Tube Tests. I'm Johnny. And I'm Natalie. And today we're going to be talking about the Lomo 19A19 microphone. I really like this Russian made microphone. Tell us a little bit more about it, Johnny. So originally they were used for the film and television industry in Russia, and then they became kind of like an underground secret. Um, in the music world. Pink Floyd used them all over the wall, but not a lot of people talked about the Lomo A19. Mm. I remember back in the 90s when I would go into the studio and we'd be engineering stuff and recording, you know, bands and so forth, people would be like, what is that microphone? Mm -hmm. And there really wasn't all these YouTube videos and, you know, people testing out and trying out and doing all this stuff, so you kind of had to know. But anyways, I was really kind of taken by this microphone because it kind of sounded like, how would you describe it? A little bit like a C12, but then at the same time, it sounded like an M49, which had this nice, warm, lush, you know, vocal sound to it. But you can use it on everything from vocals to acoustic guitar to guitar cabinets to saxophone. It's kind of like the all around microphone. Now, one person who does know a lot about these microphones is our good friend Mark McElroy of Microphone Boutique. So go and check out his YouTube channel if you want to know even more about these interesting microphones. Now, let's take a little bit of a look at the design of these microphones. Because they were used for film and television, they were booming microphones, you have the capsule situated right up front. Further down, you've got the subminiature tube. And then at the bottom, you've got the output transformer. Now, one weird thing that microphone fanatics have is that a lot of times when a microphone weighs a lot, they think it's worth more. But in this case, this tube microphone is very light because it was always up on these boom poles. They engineered it so it would be real nice and light, and it still has a great quality of sound. Okay, I'm dying for you guys to hear this, so let's test it out. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, Little star, how I wonder what you are. Next time on Tube Test, we're gonna check out barbaric amplification. You know, Chris is making some pretty hot rod mics out there, and we're gonna test them out. Avi, Indy, are you warming up your vocal pipes? Oh, yes, yes I, am. I am. We'll see you next time on Tube Test. Can you girls help me out? Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Twinkle, 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 little star, how I wonder what you are. Good job, you guys. So originally they were made for film and television in the Russian film and television industry. 